Welcome to the Inova Center for Advanced Medical Simulation. We are a healthcare system simulation center designed to replicate our hospital's inpatient and outpatient rooms, ICU, NICU, emergency department, and labor and delivery environments. Our focus is on interprofessional education to enhance patient safety. Today, we are going to reenact a simulation education program designed to practice teamwork and skills in the event of an obstetrical emergency, a shoulder dystocia. Push, Noel. Keep pushing. Great job. Yeah, Noel, push harder. I'm going to count to ten uh, while you push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I see the head. All right, Noel, the head is almost out. I want you to push again with the next contraction, okay? Here comes the next one, Noel. Push hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turtle sign. I have a shoulder dystocia. Okay, what side is the baby's back on? Uh, the mom's right. All right, let me confirm that. Okay, nurse, I need you to call your charge nurse, anesthesia, NICU, get an OR on standby and call another attending. Let's start the timer. I want you to call out every 30 seconds. Uh, med student, let's put the head down and pull the pillow out. Noelle, I need you to stop pushing, okay? If your baby's head's come out, but your shoulders need a little bit of help to be delivered. It's really important that you stop pushing until we tell you to. What, what's happening? What, why isn't the baby out yet? Sir, we're doing everything we can for Noelle. I need you to tell her to take short, panting breaths and to not bear down. Okay, Noelle. Okay, let's get a Mick Roberts maneuver. Don't push. Okay. I need super pubic pressure from the side of the med student. Okay, super pubic pressure. It's not working. Okay, you're going to make a left medial lateral episiotomy. Scissors. Anesthesia here. What's going on? We have a shoulder dystocia. We might need to go back to the OR. Okay. You can hear what's happening. We have a shoulder dystocia. She's 39 weeks. It's her second pregnancy, and she had gestational diabetes. Okay. What time is it? One minute, 30 seconds. Okay, let me try and deliver the posterior arm. Okay. It's not budging. I'm going to try a Woods corkscrew maneuver. Okay, baby's coming. I'm here. Baby's out. Clamping cord. It's a girl. Congratulations, Noel. Oh, thank goodness. Congratulations, Congratulations Noel. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, team. All right, team, well done. So how about we review the steps of a shoulder dystocia drill? Intern? So I called the shoulder dystocia after I recognized the turtle sign. Okay, nurse? Uh, I made sure to call for help. I called OR, um, charge nurse, NICU, and anesthesia. Great, medical student? I dropped the head of the bed to help with the McRoberts maneuver and placing super pubic pressure. Okay, great, and birthing partner? Uh, I told Noel not to push anymore. <laughs> So then I decided which side the baby's back was on so that I could tell the assistants in which direction to apply the suprapubic pressure. Okay. And I was calling out the time uh, since the delivery of the head. And then I made a medial lateral episiotomy on the side of the baby's chest so that we could more effectively do and deliver the posterior arm. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's talk about the posterior arm skills right now. As you all know, the baby can place its arm in three different positions. The first one being the easiest, where the baby's arm is bent. And you slide your hand in, you grasp the baby's forearm, and you deliver it across the chest. The second position that it can deliver in is if the arm is on its side. And then you have to reach in a little deeper, place your thumb in the antecubital fossa, and deliver the forearm up into your palm and deliver the baby across its chest. The third position, and the most difficult position, is where the baby's arm is behind its back. In that case, you're going to have to insert your other fingers and gently drive the humerus forward so that you can place your thumb in the antecubital fossa and bring the arm up across the chest and deliver it. When I realized that we couldn't deliver the posterior arm, I tried the Woods Corkscrew Maneuver. Okay, great. So let's review the Woods Corkscrew Maneuver as well. So imagine that you're removing a light bulb from a socket. 
Place two fingers on the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder and two fingers on the anterior aspect of the posterior shoulder and rotate the baby clockwise or counterclockwise until you start to remove it like similar to a light bulb out of a socket. Any questions? So, anesthesia, did you receive all the information that you needed when you arrived on the scene? I understood that this was a shoulder dystocia and we may need to go back to the OR. I was preparing for that scenario. Great. And NICU, did you receive all the information that you needed when you arrived? Yep, I understood it was a shoulder dystocia, um, gestational diabetes, and that the baby might have to be resuscitated, so I was preparing the equipment. All right, team, so let's review and provide some examples of any communication or teamwork skills, any systems items that could help us in the future in the case of a real event. Simulation provides for a safe learning environment for teams to practice communication, teamwork, and skills in the event of a real-life emergency.